Hey guys, Kazarath here with my um, RPG Maker tutorial continued. This is RPG Maker 2000. So let's get started off by making a new project here. So we'll call this, um, well, we'll leave it project one, but let's call this, um, tutorial. Hmm, tutorial. Let's call it tutorial. I hope I spelled tutorial right. <laughs> anyway, so this is what you get you get a blank map. For starting, you get this. You can view map properties to view things about it. It's scale, it's chipset, it's parallax backgrounds. These are all things that we'll get into later in the in, later in the game. Now, for starters, when I make the map, what I like to do is I like to zoom it out and just make me a little, little bit like you know, like a little deformed peanut island. Yeah, you know, or like a little ocean thing be a lake, but, um, yeah. So, enough building lakes, we'll get into here. So, just start with a few different interfaces. Up here, you can go into game, and you can do this. You can test some things. Go up to help, tools, your database. This is where you can edit everything, pretty much. And it really does come down to everything in here. If it's in there, it, it, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be within this many. I, I can't even... You know what I mean? Hmm. Okay, something about that. Never mind. Anyway, if we go through here, you can choose everything. You can make new items and everything. Pretty cool. But let's get started off. So, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a basic house. And how to do a house is, um... Oh, well, you just kind of make a thing. You want to make it about two wide. And use these rooms. And they auto-build. Oh, I'm using this little squarey tool over here. And you can auto build, but one thing you have to be really careful about with these chipsets is if you go into database and you go over to chipsets and you go over to world and you get to set the basic graphics. Now what you want to do is you want to go to pass and block and these X's and zeros, zeros mean you can pass through it, squares, oh I forgot squares are, well they're different, um, <laughs> and X's mean you can't, pretty sure squares are like above you. Or something, but yeah, that's that's the basic gist of it, which is kind of neat. So let's just see. That's that's a basic house, actually. You know, I think we'll, I think we'll make this one out of white stone. Nice. So there we go. We have just constructed our first house, but it, it looks lame. So if we come over to here, this blue one, we can select where we want to give our house. Like a window. Yeah, we'll, we'll put a window on it. Then the yellow, this is where things get interesting. You right click, no event. We'll build a door. And for our door, you can have all these characters. All of these. And it's under objects here. Um, sorry if I'm a bit slow. I'm a bit rusty. I've been so used to RPG Maker VX. Um, so you get the door. And there you go, you have the door. Um, uh, let me go into scale, edit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Messed up in this. And this is you walking around, this is your house, and you can't really interact with it. Now, let's just say we want to make an NPC. And for an NPC, you would choose your person. We'll choose. Hmm. Who do we? Who do we want? Who do we want? We have a grid boys. We'll pick. We'll pick a ninja. And we'll insert a text command. First, what you want to do is you want to go to select face for this guy. I have your face graphic. You get all of these choices. So many, so many. You can edit these, but we're not getting into that right now. So there's a nice ninja face for him. I think we'll go with the left side, and we'll go with that. I want you to go, show message, yo, I'm a ninja, yes, he's, he's an unusual fellow, to make them move, this is the animation type, this is how they stand when they're stationary, but what you want to do, is we'll put random movement, frequency, well, we'll give them four, okay, Ooh, he's getting away. 
Yo, I'm a ninja. I know it's gonna be distorted in this because I'm recording and everything. I can't help that right now. <laughs> so, well, I think we can get into the door now. For the door, what you want to do is make a new map. Create a new map. So we'll go with a nice small one. A little tip for you, when you make your house, you get this blank one, and no, normally what you'll probably want to do in your first beginner is you want to make these walls, and you want to put roofing, like this, you know. Like this, you'd think that this looks good, and it does to an extent, but this this isn't what you want to do. What you want to do is you'll just make it blank, and start it, well first choose the wall the building's actually made out of, and go... Make it the same height. I start at um, both sides and move inwards like this, so I make sure that they um, sync up all nice and well. Whoops, undo that one. So there we go, now we have a two entrance. Oh, I already screwed this up, didn't I? Okay, there we go. Now, the best thing you can do for your map is one, you make the roof the same as the outside, this inner wall. Little edge right there. Remember, you want to make it come down, come down. Then what we do is we do like this for the inner wall to make it give that whole 3D aspect. So we choose a floor here, a nice wooden floor. And then for the outside, you know, you're thinking, well, it's all water. Well. What you want to do is actually want to make the outside seem as though it really is connected to the map by giving a nice green background. Maybe a. Not that many bushes. Maybe a little bush here, bush here, bush over there. What this does is this gives you the illusion that the house is actually on the map. Which, you know, it's, it's a really neat effect. It really is. So you can add events. You can do things like you can just add this bucket. Or you can just merely go into the second tab and add things like this. You have to tinker with this, how you want things to look. But for going into the house, what you have to do is you have to go to the yellow thing. Right click your door. Insert. And we have to find the teleport. Hmm, teleport. And you want to teleport into here. Right, you don't want to go right in front of it. You want to go there. Okay. That will teleport him when he touches it. Now this one. What you want to do is you want to leave this blank, below hero, on hero touch, and put in the teleport. And what this does, having the on hero touch, is it makes him automatically teleport when he steps in the square. So therefore, he won't actually walk around out here while giving you the same effect that you in that it looks like he could. So guys, that's all. I think I think we'll call this tutorial good for now. Um, talk to you next time.